G'day guys and welcome to the first video of the series of videos for beginners. Um, over the next, or well, over this series, I'm going to be going through everything from this video here, which will be what is Locksport and a little introduction into what Locksport and lock picking that we do is, right through to what to look for when you choose your first pick set. Um, all the different picks that you can get, what their uses are, the techniques and using them, right through to picking a lock, gutting the lock, and then repinning the lock and putting it all back together. So it's going to be like a little crash course right through everything that you need to know when you first get into the sport. And to give you a good ground and footing uh, to what it is that we do, and help you progress through. Um, so that's going to be this series over the next few weeks. Uh, it's aimed more for beginners and to try and bring in more people into this awesome, awesome sport. Um, I absolutely love it and a lot of people love it. Once you get bitten by that lock sport bug, you cannot get rid of it at all. So first of, I'll start off with what is lock sport and that's what this video is base is going to be like a little introduction, a little bit of history of what it is. Um, now the term lock sport is, was adopted as a way of separating what we do and us from locksmiths. Now a locksmith is trained in all locking systems and bypassing and everything. They are skilled in it, they are trained in it, they have qualifications to be able to do it. Lock sporters, we may, if we're a locksmith that does this for a sport as well, but a lot, of, but mainly us lock sporters aren't trained in it. So that's why they've got locksmiths and lock sporters. Um, now lock sport is a recreation, it's a sport of defeating locking systems, so your padlocks, um, sometimes security, like uh, electronic locks and electronic systems and stuff like that comes into it as well, if you get into that side of it. Uh, lock enthusiasts, or us lock sporters, we learn a variety of skills from lock picking to bumping locks with bump keys through to bypassing security systems and shimming locks and a whole variety of skills that traditionally these skills were only known by locksmiths and security professionals. So it was, if you go right back in history, it was only known by them. And lock picking and bypassing and all this has been around as long as locks have been around. Uh, some of the earliest forms... Um, King Louis the 16th of France. He was a designer and a picker of locks. Uh, even there was a expo, like a expo that was put on back in, well, back on July 22nd, 1851. There was an American whose name was Alfred C. Hobbs. Now. He went to Victorian England, or England back in the Victorian era of 1851, and shocked the whole of England by picking the strongest lock there was at that time. Now, this lock had a name. It was called the Detector. And from documentation that's based on the history of it, his first attempt at picking it, he did it twice. The first time took him 20, about, as documented, it took him about 25 minutes. Um, he then got him to lock it back up again. The second time only took him seven minutes. Now, a little bit of history for those of you that know about the, the detector, and some of you that don't. The detector was patented in 1818 by none other than Jeremiah chub that's where chub locks are from so right back in 1818 was when this lock was done and it was the strongest lock of its time it was undefeatable until 
this guy, Alfred C. Hobbs, went over to England and demonstrated him picking this lock that was on a safe. Um, so it goes right back in history, and there is a lot of history that goes through the locks and lock picks, and right the way back. That's just a small little, well, small little taste of the history of what it is. Now, for us lock sporters, we enjoy the excitement and the challenge that takes place when we learn to defeat locks in all their forms. Um, and the first lock you pick is, or, or you always remember the first lock you pick. I still forget my vape out of the way. I still have the very first lock I ever picked. It's my Federal Super, the A520C. You know this. I feature this a lot. It has a strong meaning to me and I'll never get rid of this lock um most recent video was when I actually made a key for it that works beautifully but you will learn all this as you progress through it and you once you get bitten by this lock or lock picking bug you cannot get rid of it you just want to learn more and more and more and there's so much information out there to learn um a good way to Try and learn as much as you can is through all the social media platforms. So we've got YouTube, such as channels such as my own, Bosnian Beals, Lockpicking Lawyer, Lock Noob, Health Lock Picker, Leon's Lock Pad. Um, there is hundreds and thousands of lock sport channels out there. Absolutely fantastic ones. Um, like me, when I first started, I was going through YouTube. Stumbled across Bosnian Bill's channel, watched the first video I ever watched of his, and I said to myself, i got to learn this. I ordered, bought myself a pick set, went and bought as many locks as I could, and just dove straight in and absolutely loved it. Um, it is an absolutely fantastic sport, so there's a little bit of an insight into what lock picking is and what lock sport is. Now... We do follow a strict set of codes. Well, I do, and I emphasise that. And you hear it at the end of all my videos, and I will go over it and just say it at the end of every single video I do, which is always follow the codes, keep lock sport legal. I will go through the codes at another time. Um, or you can just look up what the codes are. There's heaps of information on it. So... That's a little bit of an intro into what lock sport is. Now, a lot of people, you may think yourselves that this is a weird sport. Why would anyone do it? Well, it's just, for me, curling is a weird sport. I mean, to me, it's just glorified sweeping with a tiny little bit of bowling mixed in for a bit of fun. Um, but this is not only a, a great sport to learn, it's a puzzle. It's always challenging no two locks are the same. Um, it's kind of like Sudoku or, you know, like a, a puzzle that changes all the all the time. And it is fantastic. Not to mention, it may come in handy one day. Um, I'm not saying you should, but if you lock your keys in the house and you need to get in... You don't have your phone or any way to contact anyone, but you've got a set of lock picks with you. You can pick the lock to get into your house. So do not do it to someone else's house. Look up the codes for that. Actually, I'll tell you the codes. There's three that I always follow. One is never pick a lock that's in use because you may end up damaging it because we do take advantage of the um, tolerances and the vulnerabilities and the defects in locks, but I will go more into that in a future video. The other one is do not pick locks that you don't own or do not have permission to pick, which is pretty straightforward. And the third code is follow the first two codes and have fun. So pretty simple. You follow them, you're set. But this just, as I was saying, a little introduction to what lock sport is. Um, please stick around each Sunday I'm going to be uploading a new video that goes right through so as I was saying about um, what to look for when you order your first pick set 
to, you know, different techniques, picking a lot, gutting a lot, repitting it, all the basic information. I want to try and keep it in the simplest form possible. Um, not confuse you with everything, but try and keep it, you know, as simple as possible to really give you a good ground, like solid foundation to build up on. So thank yous for watching and for the very first uh, episode of this series that's going to be coming up. Um, as always, always follow codes, keep block sport legal, you know, don't go do anything stupid. Uh, if you haven't already, please check out www.locksmithstoolbox.com. Um, absolutely fantastic company, excellent, excellent competitive prices. Really, really good. Cannot recommend them enough. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. And a big thank you to everyone that's subscribed. Um, and a big thank you, while I'm at it, to the helpful lock picker for the shout out about this video series that's coming up. Um, really do appreciate it. Big thank you, my friend. It really does mean a lot, mate. Uh, if you haven't already, please come and join us on Discord, the Extraordinary League of Pickers. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Lots of information gets shared around on there. Great bunch of people. Absolute killer. Um, don't forget to come and find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter where I put up photos of what's going on in the background, little bits and pieces of this and that, all the fun stuff, as you know. If you would like to get in contact with me, you can contact me through any of the social media platforms or at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, cheers, guys.